I'm going to take you through this practical. We are going to dissect the rabbit. And in dissection, the materials required are the following. We need the dissecting board. We need the, the dissecting pins, dissecting instruments in general. The spare of scissors. Everyone is given two pairs of scissors. Then we have got the forceps and uh, the animal. So the animal is the rabbit, it's a mammal, and we have paralyzed it or anesthetized it by using chloroform. chloroform and put it in a bucket and after that we shake the bucket and paralyze it and after it has been anesthetized or paralyzed, then we transfer it to the dissecting board and we pin it ventrally. We pin it ventrally like we have done and then we begin dissection from down by removing the upside skin. You can go by the names of Shino, Disha, Sango, and Kaya, 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 I'm Kalei Kichinewewe, I'm Sinasit. I'm Heza Kaneza from the six. I'm Paul Kagame and I'm Nia Tati. I'm Marine Nsegale Jesse, I'm from the six. I'm Paul Ibutunyanga now, I'm in the six. So we are going to use our display here to demonstrate the respiratory system and the digestive system. How far we going guys the other side? You have already opened? Mm. Or you are still open? And so far we have opened up the internal part of this rabbit, particularly the digestive system, whereby her are having large intestines and her are also having the small intestines. So as you can see, uh, the large intestines are the ones which are much more bigger than the small intestines and it's usually also called the ileum. And, uh, Why are they bigger? Why do you think they are bigger than the small ones? Okay. Um, but uh, most of the food is actually takes place. That's where the end products. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like the vehicle materials. Yes. Are, yes. And also, if we can dig deeper, before these ones, we have the stomach. This is the stomach. This is the pancreas. Yeah. So we have this. I mean, this is the liver. Then the pancreas. Uh, so this is also the pancreas. Yes. Mm -hmm. This and we also have the kidneys here. This is the left kidney mm -hmm. and now the right kidney this side. Yeah. Okay. Right so how do you see the positions of the right and the yeah, right kidneys? So for the right kidney, it is located okay. above mm -hmm. that, and the left kidney is located below. Mm -hmm. So one is up and it's down. Yes, yes. I don't know if you have the urinary blood. This one? Mm -hmm. We have the... That's the liver. Before we go to the urinary blood, I have seen some other things. This is the liver, and inside here... How many lobes of the liver? So the liver has got three lobes. So, just includes the... Mm -hmm. This. 
Why? May I know the functions of the gallbladder? What's the function of the bile? Okay, I can see this part. Which one is this? The stomach. The stomach seems to be having sections. All right. Which section is this of the stomach? Which part of the stomach is this? Huh? This is the cardiac. This is the cardiac part. All right. And there is this other one which is you not know, bent. This is called the fundus. Yeah? Is it not the fundus? Right? Yes, the larger part of the stomach. And then what is this other part? This lower part? Huh? This is the pylori. Pylori. Yes, yes. Pylori. And this other part which comes out is the pyloric. Pyloric sympicta. Right? Yes, pyloric sympicta. Alright? So now let's look at the small intestines. Which part of the small intestine is nearer the stomach? How do we call it? Duodenum. Duodenum. Yeah, small part of it. And the largest part of the small intestine is called? It's called jejunum. Jejunum. The longest part is called the jejunum. And the lowest part is called? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right? Yes. Yeah, so, as you say, this is the large intestine, also called the, yeah, the colon. Yeah. That's and the colon. Yes, they're like, because like, it's, it's where the end products are, and like, most of the absorption of food takes place. Yes, it's called the appendix. Mm -hmm. Yes. The appendix. So, from the appendix, you go to the ascending, yes. ascending part. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Then, from the ascending part, you go to the transverse. And from the transverse part, you go to the descending and to the rectum. Yeah, I Would you please help us know which parts are these? This one. Probably if you have some like this one. Is it a male or a female? Those are the kids. And those are the kids. This one. Was uh, she pregnant? Was it you? So there is yes. as you come to the the the, the intestines, the small intestines, the vessels, the vessels are not uh, they are responsible of absorbing the food from the from this ileum. The nutrients that are taken to the body, then transported to the rabbit as a whole, mm -hmm. as in any other mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. When we come to the upper parts, you see on this part of the stomach, we also have the liver, as they said, with the gallbladder, and here up we have the lungs. What are the functions of the liver? Mm -hmm. so the liver has many functions. First of all, it stops in the red yellow of fats. It stores glucose like when it has excess glucose then when it is changed to glycogen, the, most of the glycogen is stored here. In, in this part, the liver. It, yeah, it also helps in excretion of waste products. Then here we have the lungs. You know, the use of the lungs. lungs. Mm -hmm. Have, we, have we gone to the respiratory system yet? Yes. System. Yeah, Which muscle is that one? The diaphragm. May I know the functions of the diaphragm? Pressure? So when it relaxes, what happens? Air is out, the air is out, it creates a lower pressure, so the air is out, so then it expands. Let's part three. three. Okay. The, the sides the side of the respiratory system are hard. Why do you think they are hard? 
to protect the internal which are the internal organs of the respiratory system, the heart and the lungs. How many of you intend to be doctors? How many of you intend to be doctors? I, almost. All of you. So I think this practical is very relevant to your future profession. Inside here, if it is open enough, yeah, there is a tongue. It's really long. Yeah, there is a tongue, and so it means that when a rabbit eats the food, mostly you know it's a rodent, so it's mostly on vegetables like the cassava leaves. So it's as it shows it, you know, the mechanical digestion which starts in the mouth due to the hope of this teeth, like it flows into the gullet and then it enters all this, the stomach. Then it goes into these the small intestines and the whole digestive system. <coughs> the arrangement of teeth. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of cannabis. The cannabis. Yeah, this one. Molars, premolars. Behind here, these ones, yeah, that, these ones, the molars and the premolars here behind. Molars, how, how many are they? Two, three, four, five, four on this side, even four here. 
will decide. Um, yeah, even the others down. Down. One, two, three, four. For them, there are so many. One, two, three, four, five. The down ones are five. So ten down and eight up. This is it? Uh, one, two down and other four up. These are two. One, two, and one. Two, three, four. Uh, these are the ones in the middle. So, in total, how many teeth? 18 plus 6, 24. 24. Yeah, because down there are 10, up, eight, and this one is 6. Mm -hmm. Can we cut this to see where the tongue starts from? Mm -hmm. on rolling the food and when it rolls the food it like when it swallows it goes through the oesophagus and through the oesophagus there is uh, it's like a lumen it's like a tube whereby the food keeps on going down by contraction so as the, the gallet or the oesophagus keeps on contracting the food keeps on going down like um, as like a bowl a small bowl of food well, that's, yeah. yes so that bolus when it reaches in the stomach, uh, like after immediately it go, after the esophagus it goes in the stomach where we're going to have the digestion of proteins majorly. So find that after that digestion we're going to have the food getting out through the pyro the pyro and then pyro and the pyro disinfecta, yes. and then it will go through the blood Point of attention. In which form is that food from the stomach? Is the terminology we use to explain that food? It is called chyme. Yeah, chyme, which is like fermented food. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That's why even when maybe someone vomits, that food is no longer as it used to be. It has this taste that it is like fermented. Mm. And then that food gets out of the stomach and then it goes through the large intestines for digestion of other because we've seen that in the in the in this stomach it's for only proteins. So those ones other other forms of food that have not been digested are going to be digested. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, such as the carbohydrates naturally and even the even the fats that are going to be digested through here because there are some juices and enzymes that are found in the large intestines which are not found in the stomach. So after that when all the food has been digested, it goes through the small intestines where the absorption takes place because the small intestines are very small and they even they well they're well uh, supplied with blood vessels yes, and yes. through those blood vessels that's when there can be a uh, diffusion of food from this way it is highly concentrated to it slowly yeah through ab in absorption and uh, we also have some some of the adaptations you can see when you look at these small intestines you can see how they are having some things like their the folds. The folds so that one is for increase of the surface area yes. 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 so when the food now goes into the bloodstream that's when it can be used by the cells and when it is excess that's when we have seen that that's where the liver comes into play whereby it is going to store the excess glucose in form of glycogen yeah. you, you, you talked of mastication chewing in the mouth, mm -hmm. right? And you indicated that it is only 
mechanical digestion take, that takes place. Yes. How far true is that? Is it only mechanical digestion? No. Which? Also the chemical digestion. Yes. Which, which enzymes are involved in that? Yes. And more so, you know, like as you're eating, it, it is not that all the food is chewed at the same extent. Mm -hmm. So we have that that is not chewed very well. That's when we see the people of you know, the worst products, mm -hmm. as you can see in this intestine. So they will get out of the body through the anus. Mm -hmm. Allow me to thank you for the sincerity, for turning it out is practical, which is for my good as a teacher, but it is also for your own good. And you know, have indicated that many of you need to be doctors. And really, if you have to be competent doctors, you have to start from here.